Welcome to Ask Kalefi, the podcast that dives into real-life problems that plumbing and HVAC technicians face in the field. We're your hosts from the Kalefi Tech Support Team. I'm Greg Tubbs. And I'm Dan Furkus. Welcome. We look forward to sharing some stories from our tech calls and using our background and expertise to make your days a little easier. Hey there, welcome back to the Ask Kalefi podcast. How are we doing, Dan? Oh, I'm doing good today, Greg. How are you doing? Not too shabby. Oh, no, beautiful day today. Yeah, a beautiful rainy day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we're here. We are heating season. Yeah, definitely heating season. Temperatures outside are going down. We've got a lot of rain today here in the Milwaukee area. We certainly do. And with the temperatures going down, the call volume has come up. It sure has. The call volume has come way up. Yeah, uh, plenty of questions being asked on how how to install certain components into systems and where to install them. Absolutely. Wiring questions. A lot of wiring questions. Troubleshooting yeah. wiring questions. Applications with manifolds. Lots of Boy, that. it's been manifold day. Yeah, it's been manifold week. It has. All right. That's well, good. We like the calls. Yeah, we want to hear from you. We'd rather hear from you while it's going on. Versus after it's not working and been installed, then you're frustrated. Right, so right. Yeah, don't be afraid to reach out. Please call us. So we're going to talk about a relatively new product. Not totally new, but a new twist on a nice product that we offer. Yeah, we sure are. It's a product that actually we were the pioneer into the industry on. Um, and we've just taken it and made it better. Yeah, we certainly did. We're talking the dirt mag. And in this case... The Dirt Mag Pro. Yeah, the Dirt Mag Pro. So what can you tell us about it? I mean, what do you know? Well, what do you, you know? What do I know? What do you know? Jeez, I don't know a whole lot, but I'll see what I can do. <laughs> um, um, I know it's been, it's been a great product for us. There's a lot of excitement about it. Um, yeah. What we did is we took our original brass Dirt Mag, um, and we've added a second magnet to it. And that magnet drops in from the top right down. Th- we redesigned the coalescing mesh. Yep. Um, and that magnet is in a well, and it drops right down through the center of that coalescing mesh. Yeah, a and dry well. Down through a dry well, exactly. So um, it's going to do a great job of grabbing that ferrous material and holding it, and yeah. then you pull the magnet to release it. So, I mean, it's it's got 40% more power than what our original dirt mag had. And I'll tell you, you and I have been playing with that magnet and the dry well in our lab and that thing's got a lot of holding power. Yeah, it's very surprising how much it can grab and hold of right in the body itself. Um, just its ability to catch more dirt or more ferrous material, right. not dirt, more ferrous material out of solution is pretty awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, a lot of you might be familiar with that original Dirt Mag. The Dirt Mag Pro is um, newer and better. Yeah. Yeah, and I think you covered it. I mean, redesign the coalescing mesh so that drywall fits down in right in the mainstream of the liquid uh, flowing through it, mm-hmm. and uh, main, maintaining it is real easy. Right, it still has that clip-on magnet that, that you're used to seeing on our original dirt mag, so you've got two magnets um, on that product. Sure. I had somebody ask us um, or ask me over the phone the other day, you know, how do I, what's, what's the sequence of operation on, on doing a maintenance on one of these? So, well, it's pretty simple. I mean, step-by-step processes, one, you, you want no calls for heat in the system or you don't want pumps running, right? Keep the pressure on the system, but shut the pumps off from there. Get a bucket over there or get a hose. Typically I would tell a guy, use a bucket over a hose, even though we have the garden hose thread connection on the bottom, we do a bucket's a little nicer. You can get you can yeah. see that flush process uh, as it's occurring, and and you'll know when right when to shut it down. Right, but pretty simple. You know, no pumps running. Pull the magnetic band. Remove the magnet from the top yep. just by pulling it right out of the dry well. Right. So, uh, put your bucket underneath. Open and open the purge valve, purge it out until you see clean liquid. Yeah, I mean, it might be ten to fifteen, maybe twenty seconds, depending on how bad and full of that the debris it is. Right. Yeah. Usually, I say once you see it flush clear for about ten to fifteen seconds, you're good to close that valve and reinsert the magnets. Yeah, reinserting the magnets is real self-explanatory. 
you, you go through that and uh, turn the system back on, you're back in service again. Right. And it, what's really nice is you don't have to be too careful to keep your hands clean. You no, know? you sure don't. Not like you know, I've seen with some of the other options out there in the, in the industry. Yeah, I can't believe how messy that is to try and scrub that stuff off with a rag, you know, with a shop rag or a towel to try and get all that stuff off. I mean, these are strong magnets. It's really hard. You'd be fighting to get yeah. it off of the magnet. Well, yeah, I mean, we set up that display with the magnet in it, and we actually have it inserted into a, a jar with some steel shot BBs in it. And when you flip it over, it's amazing. It'll grab all of those BBs and hold it right to that drywall. But as you're pulling that magnet out of the drywall, you see that debris release yeah. fall off down to the bottom, which would be right to your purge point. Sure. Another thing I really like about this, like if there were large pieces of debris, you can actually take this thing apart. You can take the bottom bell right off where that magnetic clip is, and it's got an O-ring seal. You'll be able to pull it off and pull the mesh out and flush that if you had like large chunks of say some thread tape or something from the system that got caught in there yeah if you had really large debris in there you might not get it to come out of that purge point um so you're right you can pull that out you can pull that coalescing mesh right out of it clean it out flush it out wash it put it right back in um pretty easy to do actually right i think another question that we get a lot of is i only have so much room where should i put a dirt mag where should i put a dirt separator well, having one in your system is is key. Right. Um, generally, I like to see it right before the inlet of the boiler. Same. Um, because now you're collecting any debris and removing any debris before it would enter your, your boiler, whether it's high efficient or mid efficient, you're getting that debris out before it can settle in the heat exchanger or, or um, cause any damage to that piece of equipment. Right. Um, also, you're going to pull that ferrous material out because um, that's going to also help protect your variable speed pumps. Right. Yeah, remember, your system itself is a dirt separator. It is. It, it's a so, giant dirt collector. Right. It's a big dirt collector. So anywhere in your system where you have a little bit of a drop in velocity, that dirt's going to settle. So it'll settle into radiators, you know, panel radiators, heat exchangers of boilers, um, cast iron boilers, the bottom sections. You know, Any kind of piping traps. Right. Yep. You get anywhere you're going to get a velocity drop, that dirt's going to settle. Um, and that's... You know, the big key with our dirt separator is it's a large opening in the pipe. You know, it's typically a three to one connection size. So the body's three to one, three sizes larger than the connection. So it creates that instant velocity drop. The magnets grab that ferrous material, the non ferrous material drop to the bottom. Yeah. And you can purge it right there. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty darn slick. Prevents it from landing in the other parts of the system where you really don't want it. Yeah. Now, I've gotten the question about air dirt separators. Not to get too far off the topic, but a guy will get one because his primary focus maybe is the fact that he wants to remove dirt. But he sees that air vent on there, and that's kind of confusing, isn't it? Yeah, it, well, it that that device provides both air and dirt separation and right. magnetic. So right. you know, it's going to do a great job of all three. Um, but you're right. Where do we locate that? I mean, that becomes becomes a key factor because you know I have I've had the call too. You know, hey, I I'm really concerned. I got an old system. I want to make sure that I clean it up and protect my new boiler. Um, so I bought the Discal Dirt Mag. Um, yeah. and great product. But if you're putting it in for dirt removal, I like to see it before the boiler. But when you look at air separation your best location is going to be on the supply side after the boiler where right. that water temperature is the hottest. Exactly. And that's where you got to ask, we got to turn around and ask them, hey, what do you really want to do here? Right. What is your primary, primary objective of installing this device? Is it to remove dirt and then air is kind of a secondary? Then we definitely can say, you know what, it's got to go on the return back into the boiler. Right. Protect that boiler, protect the pumps. Yeah, it's not going to be as efficient in air separation. No, no. Um, it still is because it has the coalescing mesh, and you know it's still going to remove air, but the water temperature is going to be a little cooler than it would be on the supply side. Right, you know, and but, by then, too, a lot of the air is already getting trapped in more of the high points of the system. Right, right. Well, and he had an... I know the one guy I talked to had an auto air vent at the top side of the boiler, so... Sure. 
you know, he did have, you know, a source of air removal there as well. Um, if it's a new system, you know, and you're already starting relatively clean, you know, then, you know, in that application, I would probably put it on the supply side. You know, and I, I generally tend to, to lean towards the supply side after the boiler, out coming out of the boiler with yeah. the discal dirt mag for that air separation. Sure. Um, but I certainly understand his point with, with focusing on dirt removal. And that application, you know, maybe a little bit more cost, a little bit more piping. I probably would have done one of each and put the Dirt Mag Pro right. on the inlet for the boiler, and then our our Discal air separator on the outlet. Yeah, for that, air that 551 series, it, or even gone to a full hydraulic separator or our SEP four. Yep, exactly. If if they that needed been it, ideal. That w- that's always the most ideal, right? But with with the Dirt Mag Pro, I mean, we're offering it in. One inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half, and two inch sizes. Yep, all the brass bodies. All brass bodies. Uh, they are going to have sweat, press, and NPT connections. Right. Flow rates. The flow rates are pretty generous, I think. I mean, one inch, you're looking at 14 gallons a minute. And up to two inch, the two inch is good for 54 gallons yeah. a minute. So it covers a, a pretty high flow rate. Yeah, and that's at five and a half feet per second. Right. We have plenty of options available in different sizes and connection types. So it's really up to you if you are looking to upgrade or add something to remove ferrous material and non-ferrous material. Dirt Make Pro is where it's at. Right. Whether it's a new install, uh, new system installation, or retrofit into an existing. Yeah. And if you need help sizing or, or selecting a product, you know, give us a call. We're happy to help you with that. Yeah, that's what we're here for, and that's what we want to continue to do. Yeah, so we're excited. We're you know, we, you may have seen the Dirt Mag Pro in a lot of the trade magazines. I know uh, more online. I know we're doing a big push to to get it out there. Um, we're certainly excited about it, and just thought you know what, we want to take an opportunity. If you hadn't had an opportunity to grab one of those publications or see it, um, to at least announce it and tell you a little bit more about it. Yeah. So there you go. You got the meat and potatoes on the Dirt Mag Pro. Thanks for listening. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you for tuning in. If you ever need help, please feel free to contact our tech support team anytime at techsupport.us at kalefi.com. Or call us during our business hours at 7.30 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. Central Time at 414-238-2360.